Alright, back in we go. That's a 50%, okay. Heat you, I'm on the strike team. Okay, who else then? I'll fight. Uh, so we just have heat. Modified factory. Okay. So let's, let's get two demolisher blades out then. Let's go. Yeah, let's get two demolisher blades out. Uh, you. One fourth gen, one third gen, one second gen, two first gens. Let's get another second gen in as well. All right. That does sound really good. That does sound really good. All right. Uh. Yeah. I didn't see what I get for this, but yeah. I'll see you when I win. It's weak to blades. I saw this in the files on Shikishima Space Initiative. The RPF was made for deep space exploration. It's the ultimate manufactory. Its nanomachine forge can handle all steps of production, even raw material synthesis. It's an auto-propagating machine that can generate near endless copies of itself. A true monster. Be careful. Those minor kaiju are new models too. Where are you? Are you in his sentinel? I can't quite get how this works, but let's give it a shot. Oh, they. Oh, they. Oh! Oh! They just do their own. Okay. <laughs> they just do their own thing. You know what? I'm cool with that. Oh, 
practice rounds over. Let's see. No point overthinking it. What do I do? They are doing damage. They are doing damage. And I can just keep doing it. Wow, okay. You will take damage. Oh wow, your movement is quite crap. <laughs> Alright. What side? What side? There's a big dude there. Where's he thinks he's from above? I don't You're not going to get a straight line shot, but... Eh. Eh. Just do more of those. Alright, that one's gone, that's cool. They need to be fucked with. Uh... Right, you need to move out. Okay, that's fine, yeah, commission. Uh can I get you in on this? Just You just you just keep sending out your dudes. I need to get in on this as well. You see, that's damage. That's damage.
We good? We good. Alright. Yeah, the Monster Blade is like the biggest DPS. It's the hardest hitting shit. Also, every every Gen 4 needs to have interceptors. That's a must. What's wrong, Okino? We made it through all that, but something's clearly bothering you. Well, it's like this. The RPF probably didn't show up before this loop. We've seen the Dymo system using not only civic development machines, but space exploration tech. So if the system's expanding its reference data based on its opponents, then based on current feedback, it's entirely possible. What is? Stop dancing around it. They might make sentinels. Well, I mentioned the sentinels were like siblings to the Dimos, right? Wait, you're not saying. I'm saying I've got a bad feeling about this. Wonderful. Can cat food, all right. Any two points this time? Okay. They may as well just start going down the list. Although the track team at uh, Sakura High School isn't that skilled, well, and their captain is popular for having experience competing in uh, inter high school events, she does a good job at uh, keeping the team together. So they're all shit apart from that to me. <laughs> Alright. Members of the Special Investigation Unit, experts of com of in combat and intel. Not intelligence, gathering. Gathering intel. Uh, many of them uh, are former self defense uh, experts uh, or former police officers. Uh, they carry out dangerous missions in exchange for a generous conversation. Fair enough. Oh, got on a strike team. Let's go. All right. All right. But when does she t when does she contact the team? This motherfucker. <laughs> All right. You have to equip the passive. All right. And she can't have more. All right. It's just him, because he's he's the big guy. All right. Well, oh God, it's gonna be on the team. Increases the range, but yeah. 
for now, that's alright. Okay, so we'll go to G molars. I'm on it. I'm ready. Allow me. No problem. Understood. Understood. I'm not saying I prefer her than these two, but I'm saying I prefer her. <laughs> Alright. You do have to unwash your blade. Alright, cool. Hey, Amiguchi. Kind of brings back some memories, huh? It's like our brawl on the big bridge. Oh, yeah. When we threw down with those curry high punks in middle school? Kinda went south when someone called the cops on us. We all had to jump in the river to get away. Sure, but that was after we knocked 20 of those chumps on their asses. Hey. The same kind of feeling seeing these clowns, so. Square up, strap in, kick ass. Are you two done trying to prove how badass you were in middle school? Give me a break. You do that all the time, though. This is coming from the leader of the Suzu High Girls? Exactly. They're here. As moving as this nostalgia's been, you need to stop wasting time and start wasting kaiju. Maybe. I can do both. The hell did you say? Hey, asshole, get back here! Hey, don't go picking fights in our own squad. What, you're not gonna stop him? Nah, it's more fun this way. Hell, that is fine. He got up in my face like that when we first met, and now we're cool. Let's go. Alright, what are we fucking with? I mean, I know what we're fucking with, but what are we fucking with? Thanks. What's the plan? They just start getting bombarded. Always think my turn now. Don't let next move. Well, we're gonna start with this. Yeah, more landing. All right, let's at least get you guys over there preemptively. Same with you. Let's get you over here. Don't let up. Uh, another rush attack. Hello? Okay. Cool. Multiple G molars engaging from the southeast. They just keep on coming. Then we'll keep on fighting. I'll make it work. What do I do next? Alright, well we're moving you slightly over to here. Uh you Yeah right, deal with these little ones. Like an amateur. Here it comes. 
Yeah, just cut through him. Literally just cutting through him. Yeah, we need to get you moving. Oh, there's guys up here now too. All right. Take that. Enemy down. Always think ahead. Locked on. Good. How many down? Here, I can help. Signatures from above. Gota could use a hand on top. Gota could use a hand. But we got all these. Okay. Uh don't seem shorter, but I'm not seeing an I'm not seeing an Apos anywhere. Uh. Alright, cool. You two can move up to help. Cool. Alright, we gotta move you up here to help. You continue your bombardment. Uh, there's more landing. Alright, well. More demolisher clean up. Enough AP for one move. Good timing. The practice round's over. They're finished. Come back. Bow down. What's our plan? Stay calm. Remember your training. Number 19. I like any comments. We can move you up here then. Number ten, moving out. Attack, yes. Goodbye. What's the plan? 
I'm just trying to mop up this goddamn area. Okay, charge EP. Everyone's an enemy threat range. Every range is enemy threat range. Okay, oh god, I didn't need to move. Well. Those interceptors are really helpful. <laughs> they are really helpful. Aegis activated. Terminal closure complete. Surrounding two kilometer area now fully secure. Ending tactical analysis. Hard to get the upper hand when their numbers keep increasing so fast. Any units equipped with EMPs should fire at will. That electromagnetic pulse will slow them down. EMP? Is that what this clunky thing on my leg is? Oh, this was in one of my sci-fi books. It uses its big electromagnetic waves to take out electrical circuits. It's a tool made for localized operations. The EMP pulse is generated from the attached plasma dome. But the Sentinels are machines too. Can we afford to set that off near allies? Each sentinel automatically shields itself when it detects an allied mech firing an EMP. The enemies need a moment to bring their systems back online. It's a temporary effect, but it can still buy us some time. Did we... win? Ninety percent of those kills were from the interceptors. Damn, see what I got. No. Oh. Okay. Oh, Jesus, okay. Yeah, to get me watching my was a Lincoln student in nineteen eighty five. He's one of the top dogs in the gang at uh Nigaruki uh industrial school. Oh, Curry High. Yeah, Curry High for short. Nigga Curry. What did I say the first time? Nikarugi. <laughs> uh, also known as uh, Tack of uh, Curry High. Uh, he's uh, rough around the edges and has a foul mouth to match. Uh, seems like a tough guy, but he's uh, usually the one getting beaten up. He's fallen to fort Igori Furusaka and Dr. Lee Six Ratio with her. Good luck with that. Miyuko Shinonome uh, finds this by uh, Iori Fugusaka, who was asleep in the nurse's office. It's labelled uh, NM0206. It contained the nanomachines that were uh, administered to uh, Fugusaka. Uh, Murimura was uh, implanting her own memories into Fugusaka, which was the cause of Fugusaka's uh, troubling dreams. Second generation central armament uh, fires off eight consecutive rockets uh, from the shoulder mounted uh, missile pods. Uh, doing extreme damage to the target. Miss the missiles are 3.6 meters in length 
and uh, 0.4 meters in diameter and weigh around 300 kilo uh, kilograms. Uh, G molar, officially called the uh, giant molar. Uh, 35 meter tall, a massive kaiju uh, with both incredible uh, weight and power. Uh, this kaiju specializes in close quarters combat. Its thicker armor, well, it's thick armor uh, makes it hard to take down with range attacks like missiles and rapid uh, fire guns. DS D series uh, D800, large service excavation uh, unit uh, developed by Shikishima Industries. Uh, it was uh, built uh, for a third phase of the Terraform product. Uh, for the purpose of surface construction and modification, built to withstand extreme conditions of increased pressure and gravity. Uh, has a outer hull composed of, specific, of specially uh, treated uh, metal with an increased melting point. This is uh, three uh, articulated legs uh, that allow for autonomous uh, mobilization to any excavation site. Uh, able to perform up to uh, uh, perform for up to 180 days of continuous operation. A book that Renyugo uh, always walks around with. It, can, it includes schedules, diary entries, investigative uh, findings, issues, unanswered questions, and more. All written with Kersmag uh, consciousness and clarity. Uh, this is yeah, this is uh, one of the birthday gifts uh, that Goto was given uh, each year by his father. Uh, but he only has a few more days before all the pages are filled. Okay. I thought of uh, Yuki Takamiya and Natsu no Minami uh, when they were in elementary school. This picture was taken uh, near the home of Takamiya's grandfather, uh, or grandmother on her father's side. Uh, around this time, uh, Takamiya uh, liked her, sh her hair short, and Minami was known as, <laughs> as the uh, illustrious Dr. Space. Alright. Some of these, I don't know why they're here, but at the same time, it's like, why are they here? <laughs> Business affiliated with the Shikashika conglomerate, uh, the conglomerate uh, has political ties and uh, grew uh, to its size uh, during the Meiji era. Uh, they started off uh, their business mainly as uh, shipbuilding, uh, but afterward entered the uh, air transportation sector. Uh, during the war, they focused on weapons uh, production, and in the post war, they became a world famous machinery maker uh, that makes everything from household electronics to rockets. Second Raiders Magazine, what? Ninja got his most treasured item when he was in elementary school. What does this have to do with anything? Uh, the grade, uh, the grade based ed uh, educational magazine uh, that was released in 1976. Uh, three gifts attached uh, were a with a multiplication train and a flexi disc version of Terror of the Mecha Dymo. What does this have? To okay. Why is this? Uniform of the students of Sakura High uh, that are required to wear. The boys' uh, version has a stand-up collar, uh, while the girls' is a sailor outfit with a big. I don't, I've never understood the sailor outfit. Like why? Why specifically a sailor outfit? I don't. <laughs> and uh, Sakura High School uh, is a comprehensive uh, junior and senior high school, uh, but all students wear the same uniform regardless of their grade level. Uh, those, yeah, those, those school uniforms are mainly used uh, to specify which school the students belong to and uh, heighten the student sense of uh, belonging. It is said that their historical and cultural significance is why they uh, remain in use. Alright. Cool, I guess. Maximum of four strike members. Go to on the strike team. Sentin Sentinel Gladiator Kaiju. Oh, oh. Okay, let's get. We need some. We need, I feel like we need some Blade Boys. Let's go. Understood. 
two sentry guns, ooh. It's gonna cost so damn much. Oh no, that's, that's no. No. I. One per gen, yeah. Yeah, he's a beast. He's a beast. It wasn't efficient, and the D forces were clearly influencing their processes and abilities. And that's why we directly control them now. Too many problems with automation. Yeah. I thought they were destroyed in that battle. I don't know if it's that simple. Juro, what do you mean? This is why you don't let everything be automated. This is why everything shouldn't just. Oh, okay. An enemy sentinel gladiator nullifies all attacks that inflict damage of 300 or lower. Deliver attacks uh, that deal high damage with each blow. Okay. To win this battle, you must destroy seven gladiators. Yeah, this is why you don't automate everything. Shit doesn't work. Things don't go the way you expect them to. Bruh! 14,000! Bruh! Bruh, that's damage! Always think ahead. 
Yeah, we need them down real quick. Here's the plan. Interceptors go. Yeah, you need to go. I don't care if that was overkill. You need to go. Uh, heavy railgun. No. Hunter. Uh, not a lot of damage. Well, not a lot of damage, sorry. Not a lot of uh, range, but it does what it does. Pop down a sentry gun. Okay. Looks like we have three more on the way. I guess life comes at you fast. Simo signatures approaching. Enemy in range. Oh boy. Okay, they negated that. Okay, damage is being pumped out now. Damage is being pumped out now. Two, it should be. Thank you. I can help. You guys are existing. Yep, yeah, just delete that enemy. One more. One more. Unless they start reproducing them. Which is entirely possible. Let's 
what next? Take this. Hey, we outie. Yeah, we outie. No, they were created. These sentinels ID codes were all three digits. They were newly created as Dimos units. They were the same type as the number 12 I pilot. Edison was the one who put the first gens together. I just helped out. The auxiliary stuff was from my design, like the EMPs and the anti-air flares. But these things were never meant to have a direct pilot. The original spec had them all automated. Explains why the enemy got a hold of them. That also means it's got a more unstable connection to its pilot. We had to put a limiter on its functions. So its true power is being restrained. What would happen if that limiter came off? Kaio Ken. You'll get a huge boost in maneuverability, but it'll put an incredible strain on the pilot too. A small price for new power, and nothing a true son of Japan can't handle. Nah, nah, about that. Sounds like it might have its advantages anyway. I'll have to let Sekigahara and Ogata know. I know about that, man. I guess we did it. Yeah, I guess we did. Forty-eight percent. Forty-eight percent was one boy. Yay! Alright, we got a gladiator. Cool. Or a made factory. Okay, how many points? Just two. That's fine. Uh, part of the fully automated global scale manufacturing network without requiring any human input, everything from planning, production, shipment is automated by computers. And once it was deemed a more efficient uh, to synchronize the production of various factories worldwide, the system reached peak uh, popularity in uh, 2080, uh, comprising of 1.2 billion factories uh, by 2142. Uh, Kolkata and uh, Chennai in India uh, have the world's largest plants. Okay. The control key is a program code uh, within one of the 15 individuals. Until the world uh, gets destroyed, the one with the key unknowingly broadcasts command signals from their body to create uh, and beckon the kaiju. Initially, Ninji Ogata uh, had the key, uh, but it went to Natsumo Minami after. First generation sentinels are from 2064 uh, uh, that were taken during the Kaiju invasion. Uh, they became uh, deadly additions to the Kaiju forces, or so it was thought. In actuality, to combat, uh, this, yeah, to combat the Sentinels uh, gaining power, uh, they were newly developed Kaiju uh, based on the construction data of the first uh, generation Sentinels. Uh, their destructive power is, is still intact, and they are uh, even more. Yeah, they even come equipped with uh, composite ceramic armor. Despite being prototypes, uh, these enemies uh, come with the durability to withstand low power attacks. All right. A defensive battle that took place uh, towards the, the uh, center area of Ashikawa City in uh, 2064. Uh, Jiro, uh, Jiro Karabe, as Uzumi at the time, uh, Ryoko Shinonome, and Eiseki Gahara were among the Sentinel pilot force uh, during the battle. Sentinel 15 was piloted by Seki Gahara, uh, shut, down, uh, shut down the systems of all the Sentinels, uh, causing the front line to collapse. Uh, more and more prioritized the lives of the pilots and f uh, force transmitted all Sentinels. Uh, Tetsuya Ida stayed behind and fought using the remotely controlled Sentinel. Okay. Boy. They're gonna have like a complete set of all gens, aren't they? They might even have Gen 5s eventually, that's gonna be a thing I have to fuck with.